What's up everybody, another beautiful day in the Dragon Isles and we're back with some more Mythic Raid Guides. And today we're taking a look at Mythic Aranog. Now I'll be going over most of the mechanics, how to deal with them and our overall tactic for this fight. Now setup wise you want 2 tanks, 4 healers and 14 DPS. If healing is very rough you could opt in for a 5th healer but that might make the intermission rough, at least until you've looted some more gear. And just like Heroic, this fight is a mix between single target and AoE so make sure to play builds that do both well. If you all go full AoE pad, you're gonna have a bad time. So what's new for the old eggnog on Mythic? There's another flame rift and a second row of elementals during the intermission. So the new flame rift isn't just any old flame rift, it's a greater flame rift. Eww. Now it targets tanks only, has a larger circle and deals more damage when it detonates than the regular flame rifts. And it spawns a flame scale captain which needs to be tanked and its pyroblast has to be interrupted or healers are gonna cry and raiders are gonna die. Healers also needs to dispel players hit by leaping flame, which just bounces between players and applies a nasty dot, so go get them dispels ready. Following this, when you get to the intermission, you now have one circle of elementals going from the outside edge of the room towards the boss and one circle of elementals going from the boss and out, so TLDR, you need to kill two elementals instead of one, making the DPS requirement for the intermission a lot rougher than on heroic. One could say twice? So, how do we deal with all of this. At the start of the fight you want to tank Eggnog in the middle of the room. When boss cast flame rifts you want the tank that gets greater flame rift to just move smack down behind the boss and all the other flame rifts spread around that big circle, making all adds spawn close to and behind the boss. Make sure to focus down and interrupt the captain that spawns and cleave down the small adds. Make sure to use stuns, in caps and stuff like that to keep the small adds from smacking too many players in the face. Your only DPS check for the adds is, are adds still up when new adds spawn? Then you need Mawad damage. Think of the pad. Following a set of flame rifts, you want to move the boss a few steps ahead towards the outer edge of the room. The goal is that by the end of phase one, as you transition into intermission, you'll be close to the outer edge and the first elemental you want DPS. So let's talk intermission. So you'll end phase one near the outer edge and close to an elemental. We had everyone in the raid nuke down the closest outer elemental that wasn't near any lava pools, and as soon as it was dead, we all swapped to one of the inner elementals. If you have more DPS than you need, you can try to split your DPS one range, one melee group and deal with two adds at the same time. Melee always doing the outer and range doing the inner. For us this was inconsistent and it was easier with current gear to just burn down one at a time. Regardless, keep in mind that the boss AoEs around him during intermission so you want to avoid having melee hitting the inner elementals at the start of the fight, so always outer for melee. When intermission ends, boss will be in the middle of the room, keep him there and rinse repeat. So with this strategy you just start in the middle, move slowly towards the outer edge, deal with outer add then inner add and you'll naturally be in position for subsequent phase ones. Other than that, keep in mind that there's a lot of raid damage going on so make sure to dodge all the swirlies, interrupt the pyroblast and dispel all the leaping flames. And also don't cuddle the lava, it is hot AF. Now healers, be ready for heavy raid damage whenever the spikes around the room explodes, as well as when captains cast leaping flame and during the intermissions. And if you're having issues nuking down the intermission adds, try having some of your DPS go full single target and save cooldowns for that face. I mean yes, less pad but more dead boss. And for you tanks out there on mythic you want to avoid ever reaching 7 or more stacks of the tank debuff as it will slap tremendously hard at that point. Make sure that one tank drops their stacks before add spawns, most of the time this happens naturally and you'll be able to kinda taunt swap on every add spawn, but keep track of your debuffs as occasionally this will not be the case. And yeah, that's pretty much it for Mythic Eggnog, the most festive of boss fights. Let me know what you think about this fight on Mythic. And if you have any questions at all about this encounter, hit me up in the comments or become a patron or Twitch sub and get access to the Stanky Discord, where you can get help with anything raiding related and it's filled with a ton of awesome people to help you out with any questions you might have, as long as it's raiding related. I also stream all of my raid progression on Twitch, so make sure to check that out, it's on Stanky Gaming. Don't forget the usual stuff, like, comment, subscribe and ring that notification bell. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching and uh, I will see you next time.